Hi friends, welcome to Tutor's Funny Channel. Today I am going to teach Angular program how to use the JSON array. Okay, before we are moving to the API, we have to learn how the JSON request works, right? So let me see here. It will be this is a bootstrap table. We have to we have put some dummy uh, text and display the data. So how to do the task? We'll see. Right now I am going to go to this is my project. I am going to create the component. CMD. This is a project I am going to create. How to how to create a component? NG generate C component. Uh, I am going to create the component JSON array. JS array. This is a component I create. Whatever name you can create. I just create a component which name is JS array. Right? You can create any name. Uh, if you have a, you must create the component. The similar to the fields, right? If it is a student, uh, student component or teaching com teacher component, if you are uh, doing the app, you have to create the component based on the stuff, right? Here, I just this is a dummy text so that I just read DJS array. So the my component has been created successfully. Now let's back to my project. Here, my newly correct create component will be there. Now here this component you can see this is HTML file, this is a TS file, CS files are there. HTML file, I'm going to go here and I'll type the uh, go to the Google and type bootstrap table. Table bootstrap this one. Click on here. Copy this table. Back to my file. Okay, so the component is this way. I paste it over here. This all the things you can see here. Now what I'm going to do is here. This is a main.ts file. The ts file. I'm going to create the array. This array. Uh, I already written. So I just copy and paste. You will be able to get it. The simple array. I just. I'll be. TS file. I'm going to paste this one here. Small array. Okay, you, you, you can create like this. I going to this one. I'm going to cut off this one here. Simple. You have to write like this. Employee array. You can give the name of the array. Call on any array equal like this. Okay, here inside here you can write the JSON format. JSON format when you write here like this. Comma. I'm going to write the another JSON format. Start the bracket and close the bracket. Inside here. Colon, the same name, employee name, EMP name, colon, the name is and comma, salary, the same name, what is the name you are given here, the same name you have given give here, then only it will be work. But here this one should be one lakh, right, one lakh, right. Now what I am going to just copy and uh, your save all. Now let's go back to our HTML file here. I want to, I want only the editing. So here we have to editing, we have to only the uh, keep employee name and salary. You have to change just employee sal name and salary. So you have to employee name, salary. You have to get rid of this line. Okay. So only the two fields. Other fields you have to cut off this one. Only two fields we need, right? So here only two fields. Only we no need this two fields. This is we'll cut off this one, right? Now, here now you can check, check here, okay? Here, let's go to our uh, app dot HTML. Here, I'm going to paste this line. I want to work this component first. Which component is component? You have to paste this component TS file. Okay, this one TS file this selector. You just select, select this selector. This is my selector, copy it. And paste on here. Uh, where's the apps? Apps come HTML over here. Right, paste it over here. Now it's work. Right now, let's get rid of this one. Let's save all. Now you can check here. Here, only this code, the mark, this is salary, this is display. Only here. But I want to the I want to display instead of that. This all the all the fields. Which fields? 
this array fields what are the element return here so how to do the task so what i'm going to do is here you have to write the we have our array component uh, this one here instead of that what i'm going to do is you have to write like this we have the html the tr tag you have to write you have to write the ng4 for me it's a for loop if you write the for loop and angular you have to write asterisk ng4 equal let is a variable this is a employee item employee item you have to create the variable as an employee item of employee array employee array arrays mean it is coming from where our ts file it's searching the ts file whether it's there or not it is get the ts file here this array what are you have to what are the data is there you have to loop it loop and display okay so how to display here uh back here go where the file this one so here instead of that you have right you have right lock open bracket here what is the name employee the name we are given here employee server you have right employee server employee server right employee name right so you have right outright employee name you have right like this employee name this is a name here you have right the employee item employee item dot employee name the same thing here also employee item so here the same thing you just you just again you have right here employee item dot salary that's it now you can check how this works let's save all check back here john peter all the things salary is a display here but i need this salary things as a usd format so how to make it as the usd format you write it the this is free defined currency is available in the uh, angular you have to write like this colon u s d you have to write like this here it's like as a usd you have to write l k r l k r format what are the currency you have to you have to you have to assign the currency uh, pound now if you are write the uh, sterling pound you have to write like this okay so sterling pound symbol you have to write the sterling pound symbol you have to get from the uh, google and you have to write sterling pound symbol you have to write get from the google you have to write the sterling pound symbol you have to write pound symbol pound symbol you type this y m right here this one you just copy and paste it it will be take it as there right you just copy it paste it over here i paste like this right now the currency will be change it as a sterling pound here the pound right if you need a space between the here you can do the space this is the sterling pound right this how you have, you have the angular we have a we have a choice to change usd is a simple it's simply take if you write the usd say international currencies it will be automatically take in angular okay yeah. right this simple stuff first you have to learn these things right how the array is right how the this for loop this how we have to write the for loop in an angular thank you for watching if you have any doubt on this you can ask me anytime. if you love my channel please subscribe me like me Thank you for watching.